for the men's 200 meter butterfly. We will get to the lane introductions momentarily. Michael Phelps, after a very busy day on day two, where he won the 400 IM, is taking off this his signature event. Mentioned the five time world champion. Nobody has ever won five world championships. Michael Phelps has done this in the 200 fly. James Yoder, 16 year old, will be in lane one. Adam Millette from Great Britain in lane two. Sebastian Rousseau from South Africa in three. Stefan Herniak from Canada will be in lane four, the fastest qualifier. David Russell, the veteran 25 years of age, will be in lane five. Alex Wold out of Santa Clara, their fine swim club where the Grand Prix will be. Wrapping things up in early summer, Alec Page out of Canada in lane seven. Jack Chetrot from Zach Chetrot from Canada will be in lane eight. And underway, four lengths of the pool for the title in Austin. And they ought to call it the Michael Phelps 200 meter butterfly. They probably <laughs> will from now on. Well, has anybody, has anybody, I know there have been others, but has anybody owned an event? like Michael Phelps has owned the 200 fly. Well certainly Tom Mauchow was very dominant during his time. Mike Bruner back in the 70s was dominant in this event. But you know, nothing even close to what Michael's been able to do over such a long period of time. And this is his event, as you said, his signature event. This is what started it all off for him back in 2000 at the Sydney Olympic Games. Can you believe that's almost 12 years ago? Yeah, youngest that, member of the USA swimming team yeah. in Sydney at 15 years of age. Yeah, youngest since 1932. So yeah, he, he was, uh, he started it all off in this fly, and this was his first world record. Of one year after those Olympic Games in 2000, he broke his first world record. First of 39 world records. David Russell will turn first and has opened up a very significant almost body length lead over Stefan Herniak from Canada in lane four. Well the, the rest of the field start to go, going to start to inch up on him. Russell has a lot of speed. He's, he's notice how he see breeze to his side which you have to be very flexible to do that. He's breathing to his right coming home. He won't be able to see somebody like Sebastian Rousseau up there in lane number three who I think is going to be a big factor. He went out very slow in the prelims was able to come home much faster and he also has a lot of experience but this is a good swim for Russell regardless of how he finishes in this race. So David Russell just as you pointed out Rowdy has lost almost half of his lead and it is South Africa Sebastian Rousseau up at the top of the screen in lane three who's really starting to make a move. Rousseau has competed in the net world championship seventh in this event. Here comes Rousseau Russell trying to hold him off. Russell in lane five, Rousseau down in lane three. Herniak surrounded there, and it's going to be a touch once again at the wall, and Rousseau gets him at the wall. Two minutes, 83 one hundredths. Russell, two and 98 one hundredths. Good closing finish over the last 20 meters, and you called it by South Africa, Sebastian Rousseau. Well, he just he has that ability to be able to have great closing speed. He's a very good distance swimmer, swims the 800 free. Look at the lead that Russell had on on uh, Sebastian Rousseau at the uh, at the 100 meter mark. Look at the side breathing. Notice how he's breathing to his side so he can see Russell. He can see Sebastian Rousseau over there in lane number three. But coming home that last 50. This is Rousseau right there. He maintains that great distance for stroke. You have to resist that temptation to kind of spin your wheels. And he was coming up real high. I'm talking about Russell starting to come up real high, losing that nice line in the as far as body position goes. And Rousseau caught him. And Rousseau is the winner. And just a little side note, because we mentioned Michael Phelps, almost nine full seconds off the world record, but a very strong swim by Sebastian Rousseau of South Africa.